What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to create a solar analysis or a shadow study in Revit. So when it comes to architecture, the natural lighting is really, really important. It's much more comfortable than artificial lighting. Uh, and it's something that where kind of architecture, uh, window placement, opening placement is really, really important. Uh, now, luckily with 3D software such as Revit, we have the ability to, uh, well, actually uh, kind of uh, simulate what that uh, natural lighting is going to look like and use that in order to determine if we have uh, enough openings or if the openings are uh, positioned at the correct place and so on. Uh, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you some of the tools and features uh, within Revit which are designed to help you out uh, to determine uh, do you have enough sunlight in your projects or do you have enough shades inside of your projects. Uh, now I'm going to be showing you how to do it kind of manually, uh, how to do it uh, by creating an animation which you can export from Revit uh, and I'm going to be showing you both in 3D views and in plan views. Uh, now before I get started with this video I, I would just like to ask you to like this video, it helps me out a lot, make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell icon, uh, not only because it will help, uh, help you not miss any of my future videos, but more importantly it makes the alpaca happy and that's why we're all here. Okay, so without any further ado, let's jump into Revit. And here on the screen, you can notice that I have uh, just a model that I'm going to be using for this demonstration. Now, if you like this model, uh, it's actually available on my Patreon page. That's where I upload all of my Revit project files. I've got over 400 files so far, and I'm uh, adding more with each of my videos. And now you can find that by following the second link just below this video, and also by clicking Clicking on the cards above. Okay, so uh, now here we have the model and obviously you can see that we have some shadows. Uh, now by default Revit is going to give you these, well, default shadows. So what do these shadows mean? Well, these shadows are uh, just going usually at a 45 degree angle and they're there just to give you just a little bit more depth to your model and just to make everything look a bit more realistic. Uh, now you will notice that these are not very accurate as soon as I start orbiting around. So uh, here for example you can see we have this tree and then the shadow is kind of coming from that tree and it's over here. Uh, we can see, see the same thing here with this tree or with this garage, uh, the shadow is going all the way kind of towards the house. Now if I start orbiting this around, see how it kind of starts going to the other direction. So the shadows always seem to be going to the left side of the screen. That's kind of the uh, something that you'll notice with Revit. If I orbit all the way around, now as you can see they're kind of going in the opposite direction. So uh, those are the default shadows. Uh, they're not really accurate. They're there just to give you depth and uh, that's not something that you should take into consideration when it comes to, well, figuring out where the shadows are. So how do we make these uh, accurate? Uh, well, to make them accurate, uh, you should go here to the uh, sun path uh, button. Now next to it is the shadows on. So if you don't know how to turn on the shadows, it's over here. Uh, but the sun path is what's important. Now the sun path, we're not going to be going into the sun path immediately. We're going to go to sun settings. So when you open up the sun settings, it's a dialogue that looks like this. And the first option that we see here under presets uh, is the uh, option to have the sunlight from uh, top right or from the top left. Uh, now in the solar study panel we can see that this is set to lighting. Now this is that default lighting, not in realistic lighting. So if I change this to sunlight from top left and then hit apply, you can see the shadows change. If I go top right, they go back. So it's basically the same thing, you're just kind of choosing which direction they go to and again if I orbit this around, again they're all going to the same direction. So this again may be useful for you but it's really not realistic. Okay so let's go back to our sun settings dialog and let's see what else is there to explore. Uh, so you can see that here we have more options but the still uh, is uh, the, the the best one if you just want to have accurate shading uh, for just a kind of a single view. And here, as you can see, we have uh, well uh, a few more things to set up. So here, for uh, for example, we have the presets, and then we have the summer solstice. Now, if I uh, go with one of these uh, presets, like the the winter solstice, the spring equinox, 
or the fall equinox. Let's try that one. So as you can see now, the shadows are going to one direction, uh, not the band, actually one direction. That's a terrible joke. I agree. Okay, let's let's forget about that. <laughs> okay, uh, let's then click OK. And now in this case, if I orbit around, you will see that the shadows are always going in the same direction. So you can see this tree here. So no matter how I orbit this around, the shadows are going in the same direction. Same thing goes with this tree. So as you can see, it's always going to the same side. So that's one way to kind of fix the direction of your uh, sun. Now, obviously there's uh, more customizations because this uh, doesn't really give you kind of fully accurate picture. It gets you kind of halfway there, but it's still not the full picture. So if I go back to the sun settings dialog, here we have, well, some of the settings. Uh, now here inside of these settings, you can see the first thing is the location. Now, obviously uh, the location on earth where your project is located located uh, is going to determine where uh, what your shadows are going to look like and then you can just click on this little builder button here and it's going to open up the menu and then here in this menu you can set up your location now you set up your location by kind of taking it in you can zoom out by using your scroll wheel so this is in the United States yeah Boston I'm from Europe so I'm just going to go back to Europe and let's go here to Serbia. I'm from Serbia and let's go Belgrade. Okay, there we go. So you can actually kind of set this up. Uh, now, obviously this being kind of for shadows, you don't have to be too accurate. Uh, like a hundred kilometers is pretty much nothing in terms of kind of uh, missing your target. It's not going to make any drastic changes. So let's just click okay here to kind of finish this uh, menu. And now our location is set correctly. Uh, also we have the date and also we have the time function so you can set all of this up now it's 12 p.m. Um, you can set this I don't know like it's it's 1 p.m. here well, at the time of recording this so I'm just going to set it to that and now if I hit apply and click OK now it's going to give me accurate shading for this particular date and this particular time which is much more accurate. Uh, now, I would like to just take a, a little break here, and I would like to encourage you to check out my website, BalkanArctic.com. It's going to be the first link just below this video, and then also it's going to be in the cards above. Uh, now, this is the website where I have all of my advanced courses, and if you want to learn more about kind of tips and tricks like this in Revit, and if you want to take your Revit game up to that next level, uh, I do encourage you to check it out. I have everything from beginner to intermediate, as well as advanced level courses. Uh, I have have over 120 hours of content and I'm adding more each month. So if you're interested, please check it out. Okay, back to Revit and back to this project. So I've shown you how to kind of place this uh, and set the time, but there's actually a more organic way to do this. So after you went here to sun settings and set up your location and date and time, uh, you can actually OK out of that and then you can go to the same dialog here and go to sun path on. Now once you turn on the sun path, you're going to get this cool little diagram all the way around your model and this diagram uh, actually, you can customize its size. So here, as you can see, it's kind of almost uh, kind of catching the edges of this uh, site plan. So I, if I set this to, I don't know, like 200, it can become bigger. So for bigger projects, you can make it bigger here in the properties panel. So just keep that in mind. But this is a really cool intuitive way of uh, kind of customizing the sun position. Uh, now, I find this really good in situations where you're with your client and perhaps you're talking about your project and he's thinking about, well, how does it look? And then you can just take this and as you can see, the little time changes here. This is I don't know, let's set it to 8.45 a.m. And then you can set it up like this and you can say, okay, look, in the morning here in this room, you're going to get a lot of sunlight coming from here. So at 8 a.m. Same thing goes here for the for the bedroom upstairs. You're going to get a little bit of light, but not too much if you don't want to get waken up. So you can play around with this and then you can show uh, what the, the, the shadows will be during each part of the day. So for example, in the evenings, you can expect a lot of sun uh, coming from these windows here. Uh, so uh, I, I find this really intuitive and also you have the ability to kind of move it up and down. So as you can see, when you move up and down, the date here changes. So you can actually change oops you probably cannot see that from my head okay let's try that again so see how you have the date here you can actually click on that and then you can uh, change the date 
uh, which is really useful as well. Uh, so you can just go around and play around with both the date and the time. Uh, it can be a little bit tricky at first until you can kind of figure out how it goes, but then it's going to be uh, really easy to use this. So that's your sun path. At any point, you can just turn that off. It's going to keep the last uh, setting. Uh, and if I just go here to sun settings, you will notice that here it changed those settings a little bit. Uh, probably changed the date and the time a little bit. It's 2005 here, I just noticed that. That's okay, <laughs> we don't mind that. Uh, but anyways, now let's talk about creating an animation. Now this is also really useful for creating any client presentations. You can actually send them a video just to see what uh, the shadows would look like during the day. Uh, so for that you have this single day option. So the single day option, what it does is it allows you to create that animation. So you can figure out the date here, uh, you can figure out the time. So I like to go here for the time, perhaps from 7 a.m. or 6 a.m. Okay, let's go for, from 6 a.m. to, I don't know, something like 9 p.m. Okay, so, or we can just go sunrise to sunset. That's also a good option, but you can customize that here. Let's go sunrise. I didn't know that the sunrise was actually at 4 a.m., so that's useful. Uh, so you have that option here to set the sunrise and sunset. Uh, then we have the frames. Uh, now the frames are, uh, they're defined by the time interval. So the time interval here is one hour. I actually like to go with 15 minutes. It gives me more frames. So the animation then looks uh, a bit nicer, at least in my opinion. So once you have all of this set up, you can just hit apply, okay, and it's going to look really dark. Uh, now the reason for this uh, is because it defaults to that kind of or beginning, the, the sunrise. And at sunrise, obviously the shadows are quite kind of uh, steep and long, so that's why it looks like this. Uh, also, one more thing uh, before we generate the actual an animation, I like to go here to our graphic display options, and f in most cases uh, for my lighting parameters, I keep my shadows at anywhere from 20 to, uh, to 30. So for this, I like to have at least 30, perhaps even 35, uh, just because it makes the shadows a bit darker, and uh, the point of this whole presentation is the shadows, so you want to represent them, you want to be make them visible. They're not there just to add a little bit of depth, they're there to demonstrate, well, where the actual shadows are going to be at. Yeah, so once we have all of those settings done, uh, also we must go here to the view properties, uh, make sure to crop this view, so, whoops, this doesn't look good, so let's crop the view, like so. Perhaps like that. And you can go with hidden line view if you want as well. I prefer the realistic one. Perhaps if I just go here to graphic display options, I can maybe make the ambient lighting a bit brighter. Might look a bit better. Okay, so there we go. We have all of this set up. We can select this. Let's see the crop size. Yeah, that's okay. Uh, and then finally, we can go here to the file menu. And then this is where you export the actual animation. So you just scroll down to export. Then you go down, scroll all the way down here to images and animation. And now you have solar study. Now, once you check solar study, it's going to give you this layout or a format dialog. Uh, you can go with all frames or frame range. I'm going to just go with all frames. Uh, frame uh, or seconds. Okay, that's uh, that's okay, that's 15, uh, I'm, I'm fine with that. So uh, let's then go here to the format or the uh, dimensions, I'm fine with that as well. Uh, and you can also include the time and date stamp, so we can include that as well. Click OK, and now it's generating that animation. We have to just specify where we want to save it, so let's go to desktop. Yeah, let's call it shadow analysis, uh, 3D view. Okay, click save, and then we're just going to uh, set up the uh, just the video compression, so you can go full frames, or you can go with one of these compressions. I'm just going to keep it uh, uncompressed, or perhaps I don't know Microsoft Video. Hmm. Let's keep it uncompressed and click OK. And as you can see here, it's generating that analysis. See how the, the shadows are kind of 
moving around uh, as the day passes now it slows down during the day because the sun is kind of uh, on top and then it kind of speeds up uh, during the night because well the shadows become uh, progressively faster uh, and longer or become longer progressively faster I think I've pronounced that correctly and there we go uh, the shadow analysis is complete now here it is on my desktop uh, the video if I can just open it up oops but there we go that's the let's make it a bit smaller so it can kind of fit on screen and let me just rewind that there we go this is what we get so that is the uh, the shadow analysis obviously you can perhaps edit it in some video editing software uh, make it slower perhaps and here as you can see it's going to show you the time on top so uh, you can just uh, show this to a clown so you can say like okay it's six o'clock it's going to look like this see how it's reporting it's six o'clock here uh, then perhaps at ten o'clock it's going to look like this and then at uh, four o'clock it's going to look like this so you can perhaps have some some a table here so you can be in shade and eat dinner or whatever so uh, it's a it's a really nice way to represent how the uh, the shadows will change during the day now before we end this video there is just one more thing that they want to show you and that's how to create this uh, shadow analysis for your floor plan views uh, so here I have the kind of the floor plan for uh, for this building and uh, when it comes to floor plans you're going to notice that it, they look really odd now here I've turned on the shadows and I, I like having shadows in my floor plan views but the, the the downside of those shadows is they're obviously not accurate which you can see from here uh, the first thing is here if I open up the Sun settings you're going to notice that the uh, lighting is set to regular lighting and, and then also for things like windows perhaps it's uh, more visible in level 2 here uh, so here for windows the windows don't drop any shadows perhaps if I just increase the, the strength of these shadows see how the windows don't really uh, don't really let the light in so it doesn't really work that that good that accurate uh, so uh, it's just one of the downsides when it comes to uh, working with uh, with Revit in the floor plan views uh, but for your uh, Sun uh, analysis you can actually kind of override this and let me just uh, change the shadows here as well just make them at 25 okay so how do you create a solar analysis for your floor plan views uh, well you have to create a camera view and for that we have to create a section uh, because we need to create that view in a section uh, so you just go here to the, the, the section tool create a section like this uh, double click on the section head to open that up here's the building uh, and now to create that camera view uh, you just go here to the default 3d view you don't click on the default 3d view you go here to the drop menu uh, and then you open it up and you use a camera and now before you place a camera in most cases for your cameras it's going to be a perspective view now in this case we don't want a perspective view we want just a regular view so you uncheck that perspective view you come in here and let's use kind of this door to you know, measure where kind of the, 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 the head position would be perhaps this is the center and then you click and then you want to expand that down now you want to be as kind of have this as straight as possible so just go like this and then we just click and we're going to generate that view now it's not going to be perfect because well uh, we might have might have missed a little bit but that's okay so for this view now we can go here turn on the shadows now the shadows look like this perhaps make them a bit lighter there we go much better uh, and then also uh, you might want to go here to the sun settings and as you can see it's set to lighting but we want that single day and we already have the settings I think or no we don't okay so let's go to sunrise to sunset 15 minutes uh, apply okay and now we can generate that uh, that same analysis uh, so uh, if I just see here the crop size okay that's fine uh, and I can just go to file uh, export to go down by clicking on this button here uh, you go to solar study uh, and let's let's use the all frames okay okay and okay and now let's see what happens so as you can see it's generating that solar analysis now and this is what that looks like now obviously it kind of slows down the, during kind of the 
the main part of the day and then it speeds up. There we go. And now it has generated that analysis. And I have the video here. Let's see if it's ready to go. Okay, should appear here. There we go. So this is the solar analysis and you can use this to kind of show your client what that would look like in floor plan view. So you know that here, for example, at, at some point uh, in the morning, you're going to have a light coming in from this window and then during the day, uh, just a little bit of light coming from these two windows and then in the evening from here. And you can actually see how far those shadows or that, that light goes. So that's something that can inform your design. So there you go. That's how you do uh, shadow studies or solar analysis in Revit. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, guys. Make sure to check out my website, balkanarctic.com, for more uh, Revit courses. Uh, there I have over 120 hours of content, uh, and I'm adding more each week. Make sure to subscribe uh, for more videos, and also I've added a video over there that might interest you as well.